Welcome to Furious Fiction. I'm Jules Graham, and with me is Mark Mustion. Hi, Mark, Jules. who are we talking to? We're talking to Jocelyn Jackson today. She's the author of Backseat Saints and the author of Someone Else's Love Story that's just out. Uh, Jocelyn, welcome. Hi, and, and thank I, you for having me. I, I've got to ask you, there, the, the, the beginning of uh, someone else's love story, there's a riveting scene in a convenience store, or as we, we here in the South call them minute markets. I mean, did this ever happen to you? Were you ever you know, in, held a, up at in a minute market with a holdup? <laughs> no, I have never been held up at gunpoint, I am happy to say. <laughs> Well, well, it's it's a fabulous, I mean, the beginning of that story, it just pulls you in so quickly, so quickly, and you speak with such a Southern, there's so much of the South in there, which I really enjoyed. Did you also narrate this book? I did, yeah. I read, um, I read the audio versions of my books, and I got to do this one as well. I really love that. No, it, and I, I first heard you uh, in an audio tape. I listened to Backseat Saints, and uh, which was really awesome. And I had to, although it is sort of racy, and I had my 15-year-old son in the car, and I said, we'll have to pop that off for a minute. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but tell us, how did you come to do that? Uh, did you, were you, you have training, or how, how did you do that? Oh, yes, I was a theater major, and I, I worked as a voice actor for a while, but, you know, my publishing house didn't want me to. When I first asked if I could do it, they were like, oh, honey, no, that's <laughs> what you want to. And they made me audition. Really? <laughs> for wow. your own novel. Well, let yeah. me ask you, uh, when you do a man's voice, is that sort of a strange experience, or do you feel like you should have a man reading the man's part? Well, I know. I mean, people who listen to audiobooks get that. Like, yes. you have, when Lee Child has that actor with the deep voice, right. Reading, right. Right. you know, you just kind of, you, you just accept that you're being read to by a person. Yes. So I don't try to go too deep and actually sound like a man. You just fail. I, I just give them a voice that they can recognize as that character's voice. And I have had the uh, pleasure of reading some of your blog. It's so good. It is so entertaining. And if you do not get a bee suit for Christmas from someone... <laughs> well, you, you got to explain this now. Bee suit. What, 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 you have a fascination with bee suits. <laughs> I, I don't have a bee suit problem. I, I, we had a hornet's nest, a ball-faced hornet's nest, appear in our azaleas that was larger than a basketball. Wow. And I blogged about it. I have pictures. It's, it's a horrifying thing. And the man who came out to kill them all for us, we wanted to keep the nest. So he had to kill them carefully, and he did, he just walked up there in a short in his t-shirt. He wouldn't put on the bee suit. And what did he you say? Everyone on Facebook the bee suit. But what did they say? They react to what they react to anxiety sweat switch. <laughs> yeah, if you if you are anxious about it, you will release anxiety sweat, and they will kill you. But he was just like, I just won't be anxious, and I won't move quickly, and I'll just go up and murder them with impunity, which he then did. Wow. Well, we, we, we're going to have to uh, go here in just a minute. I wanted to ask you beforehand, wh what's next for Jocelyn Jackson? Do you have something else you've already started, or can you tell us at this point? I, I really don't. I'm working on, I'm working on the new book, but um, right now I, I took a break before starting the next book to write an e-book and audio book short called My Own Miraculous, wow. which is a prequel to someone else's love story, and that is... I just finished the audio for that, and that took like five months to write because it's about, you know, it's a long short, and and you can get it, you know, anywhere that's like ebook or audiobook. It's never going to be in paper, and I'd never done that before. It was a really interesting thing to do. My publishing house asked me to do it. And why never in paper? Is why would you limit the way people could read it? Well, I mean. I, I don't know because because it's a short story. I mean, maybe it could be in a magazine or something someday, right. but it's too short to justify its own printing. I understand. And it's a prequel. It came out of the forty thousand words of pre-writing I did to get to the point that I was ready to write someone else's love story. And I always have that kind of pre-writing, and this is the first time they found a way to make that useful. Like, I mean, it was I had to then rewrite the whole thing because I had used that writing to kind of figure out the book. But then uh, there was a little idea in it that I thought could be its own story. So that's what I've been working on. Well, thank you so much. It's a marvelous book. Look forward to reading more of your work. And uh, we'll join you next time on Furious Fiction. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm.